This is a quick video just to show how to reset your, your Surface tablet if you lose the password. So the Windows 8 tablet that we are using here is the Windows RT, um, but the procedure is about the same for all Windows 8 tablets. Where, as you can see, we don't have the password for this particular account, so we're going to reset it so we can give it to a new user. What you need is you need an external keyboard or touch cover. You hold on the shift key, left shift, and you press restart. Then you'll be presented with a nice menu. You can continue just to boot into Windows. You can use another device, or you can press troubleshoot. With troubleshoot, you'll be presented with a menu where you can reset your PC, refresh your PC, or go through some advanced options. If you go to reset your PC, that is if you want to remove all of the files in the computer and make it brand new. If you just want to refresh your PC, it will reinstall Windows but keep all of the apps that was installed through the App Store. In our case, we wanted to completely reset the computer for another user, so we just press reset. Okay, so after you've hold down shift, pressed reset, and gone through the motions, your computer will boot up and it'll give you an option again whether you want to completely clean the drive fully or if you just want to remove your files. In this case, we're going for completely reset the computer so it's exactly the same as if it comes from the factory floor. And you just click Next. It uh, takes a little bit of time and thereafter you are presented with a new screen. This is where you select your display language. We're going to choose English. You will also have to read the EULA or the End User License Agreement, which I'm sure everyone reads. Um, it would actually be interesting to read it once um, because it doesn't cover that much. Many companies think that you are covered, you are not. Um, you also get the option to personalize your screen color and give your computer a name uh, or your tablet a name. This is what it will be shown as on the network to other computers. I like this light blue color. It uh, works quite well with the look and feel. You go next. Thereafter, you get the option to change some settings. Um, these are mostly Internet Explorer settings as well as auto update. We've just gone with the express setting. Then you get the option to give a username and you can use a password. Um, in this case, just to be quick, we did not have a password. Thereafter, Windows will go and finalize your settings. Sorry, actually, just finalize your settings. While we're getting things ready, is a nice new way that they're showing Windows users what to do. Um, this is a, just a small guide on how to use Windows 8 and um, I think they got the idea from Apple uh, when Apple launched the um, I think it's Snow Leopard or, or, or Lion where the scroll action changed. So it's a nice quick introduction for if you're brand new to the device to see that you can swipe in from the right or use your mouse to move into any one of the corners to get the charms menu. Uh, this is good because in the uh, release preview it did not have any guidance and many people were, were quite lost um, when you just started using Windows 8. This makes it a much nicer user experience. One thing that is quite funny though is it goes on quite long and there's no progress bar to tell you, to tell you how things are going. But soon enough it starts up and you've got the, the tiles, the modern interface, and you've got your desktop, and in our case we've got Windows RT, which comes preloaded with Office 2013 preview. And you're good to go.